Hey, Xana here. How's it going? Uh, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I have been playing a really lovely fucking game uh, called Transistor that just oozes charm and personality, and I just I just kind of wanted to show it off briefly, or by briefly I mean maybe I'll ramble on for 30 or 40 minutes. I have no idea. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show off this game a bit and just kind of uh, tell you why you should pick it up if you haven't uh, thought about picking it up already, or if you haven't heard of it. Uh, this game was created by the same people who made uh, another game. Uh, I think the the company's called Supergiant Games, and they made another game a while back called Bastion, a really cool game. Uh, like Bastion, you're kind of running around uh, from basically through a linear series of areas, uh, going from point A to point B, and occasionally you kill things. Uh, in this game, you're playing this uh, very lovely lady named Red uh, with a giant sword that talks to you. So let me show off the combat system here for a second, and then I'll kind of explain how it works. Okay. Boom. See this shit? Oh man, these enemies are using something that blocks my vision. Damn it. Alright, so if you played Fallout 3, the, uh, the system is kind of like that's where you sort of pause reality for a second, and then you uh, select the attacks you want to do. You have a limited number of attacks you can select. Uh, while well, time is frozen solid, and then your character acts out those attacks, and then you go back to normal reality again. Alright, so let me, uh, let's see, let me dash my way over here next to this guy. There we go. These motherfuckers are trying to jam my, uh, jam my ability to, to see when I'm paused. Alright, so, you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen I got, like, four, uh, four little th attack buttons. So I'm gonna use one of these attacks. This one weakens a character so I can do a little bit more damage. I'm gonna weaken him three times. That's about as much as I can do. And, uh, let's use my big old, uh... Let's use, I think this move is called Tap. Yeah, there we go. Oof. That's so fucking, that's, uh, that's overkill. Oh, that a negative three, six, five. Ah, oh, boy. All right, here we go. Here you go, man. And he is no more. He is negative 300 no more. He is more than nothing. He is more than dead. All right. Let's do this. There we go. You don't really need to use the Vats uh, move, but it does make it, uh, it does make things a lot easier. There we go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find a much longer battle. Oh, hey. Ooh, I should show this off for a second. So, every once in a while, while you're uh, progressing through the game, you'll find this random door that leads to... a virtual beach. So if you uh, if you enjoy the beach, that's cool. Uh, but what's actually important about this area is you have these uh, see all these little doors right here. See these take you to a bunch of uh, practice areas, uh, all of which offer different challenges. I've completed them all already, so uh, just because I fucking had to, because I love this game. Uh, but basically, uh, yeah, uh, stuff like uh, speed tests, uh, planning tests, uh, they offer different challenges and. Kind of force you to test your abilities, experiment with moves you wouldn't normally experiment with. And, uh, but I, I think the most important thing is, uh, is this beach ball. There you go. So it kind of gives you something to do, sort of to break up, uh, the rest of the game. If you want to, uh, do some challenges, do something a little more challenging than the main game, well, there you go. So anyways, let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the main, let's go back to the real world. I have no idea what this place is, by the way. I don't know if it's just, like, an illusion, or if it's, uh, or what. I, I don't know if it's in her head, or if it's actually there. I have no fucking idea. Maybe I should know that by now. Okay, here we go. But anyways, yeah, really cool combat system. I didn't really get to show off too many of my moves back there, but, uh, I think you get the idea. Um... Let me let me go to this access point here, and I'm gonna kind of talk about how the uh, how the how the moves do work. Now you notice that I got four moves down there, and uh, little things under those moves, moves but tiny moves below the big moves. Let's go to this access point. Let me show you what I got here. Oh man, look at all that shit! Look at all these moves! Look at that! And uh, look at all this down here too. Yeah, every time you level up, you get yourself a brand new ability. Uh, each ability has a well. These are actually you, you get you can get multi, more of the same abilities like uh I have the I have two of the uh of the jaunt ability which is like a little dash move that allows you to move around very easily uh dash from one area to another at a high speed a uh, good way to avoid attacks or getting attacked uh but yeah basically you have 20 uh unique all these up here these are 20 completely unique moves all with their own different uh things so uh 
Let me let's let's uh, go through this briefly. Let's see. You got active slots, upgrade. You got three different kinds of slots, and I'll kind of demonstrate how that works. So let's say I wanted to equip this ability right here. Let's go do this move called purge. All right. So the big slots. Let me use my mouse to kind of illustrate things. All right. So right here, you got the big slots, uh, the active slots. Uh, that's where you sort of put the main move that you're trying to do. Uh, down here, you have the uh, I forgot what they're called. They're the second, <laughs> the tiny slots, uh, where you can basically uh, put other moves. To, uh, basically, if you, you put the main move here, and then you can put other moves down here in order to add other effects to the big move. And then over here, you got your little passive abilities where uh, you can put stuff that's like, oh, that it can increase like your base health, that can increase the number of moves you can do when you freeze time, that can uh, basically have a bunch of abilities. Like, uh, let's see, I got this move right here, um, a mask ability, which uh, in the passive slot, every time I kill a dude... I turn invisible for a brief amount of time. I find that to be very useful, so I put that here. Uh, this move increases the base damage on all my attacks, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, let's say I got this purge ability and I want to add it to something. So let's go to my, uh, let's go to tap over here. Let's go to the one underneath B. Uh, I can add it to this. If I add it to this, uh, to my tap ability, I can do, have a little thing that does 40 damage over the course of two seconds, and it slows down the target by 70%. Yeah, that sounds fucking awesome, so let's add that. Uh, what I, I really fucking love this system, uh, so yeah, it's kind of, this game is sort of similar to Bastion in the sense that, yeah, you sort of, uh, you move through levels, uh, look at your character from a third person asymmetric view, and then occasionally kill people <laughs> along the way. Uh, of course, the, what makes this different from Bastion is that you have this really fool, uh, really, really cool, I don't know why I said fool, I uh, yeah, sound like a fucking fool, uh, you have this really fucking cool combat system, where you can sort of try all these different combinations of abilities, and there really is no right or wrong uh, way to do it. It's just sort of whatever, you know, whatever combination of moves works for you, and I really fucking love that, because, you know, every person is probably gonna, they're gonna have their own, you know, unique play style. Another really cool thing I, I love about the fucking combat system is, uh, let, let's go to this ability over here. I'm gonna press Y to inspect function. This is a person. Uh, so basically, the, the the whole premise of the game is that your transistor, your giant fucking sword that you're carrying around, uh, contains, I guess for lack of a better word, the souls of uh, different people who used to live here uh, in this city. And uh, so this move, for example, uh, that I selected is an ability, if you use it, it does a fuck ton of damage and it knocks enemies up into the air. Uh, and the person upon uh, who this move is based was a professional athlete who was notorious uh, for seriously injuring... Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, basically members on the, uh, on the rival teams. So that's kind of cool. Like, each ability is sort of a different person. Uh, so I, 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 lo I love that. That's really fucking interesting. What's, he, uh, what's really more interesting, too, is, uh, now down here you have decryption process, uh, progress. And you got these three little things right here. Uh, basically, every single time you put a move in one of the three different slots, it unlocks a new little bit of biographical information about this person. So... I really, I really fucking love that. So it's almost kind of like, if you're interested in the story, if you're interested in what's going on and you want to learn more about this world and, and the people who live there and just kind of information about it, uh, it's sort of, it's kind of like, hey, you want to learn more about these people? Well, uh, try using this move in a passive slot if you haven't already, or try using it in, uh, in the, one of the large slots if you haven't, or try using it as a, to accompany one of the other moves. You know, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like incentivizing you to mix and match your different abilities together. Of course, that's totally optional. If you're not really interested in uh, learning about the world, you don't really fucking have to. Uh, so, yeah, I fucking love this game. <laughs> it's 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 a cool little. I don't know. It's just I love little shit like that. That's just kind of neat. So, anyways, let's go back to this. Oh fuck. Okay, so I'm getting swarmed. This seems like a better. Ah fuck. Yeah. By the way, not all enemies do this thing where they block your screen like this. This is just these uh, unique foes. So let me. Uh, let's see. Let me run through this guy. I have a move that, uh, I have a passive ability that allows me to just hurt enemies by walking through them. Hold on, let's actually, let's, let's, uh, let's weaken these guys. Let's weaken this guy and that guy. This move, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do this a couple of times. Uh, the more, the more I use void on enemies, the more it weakens, uh, the more it basically, I could do more damage to them, so. Let's walk through this guy. Oh yeah, it fucking kills him. And this guy, uh. That's, that's pretty much overkill. I don't think I need to do that. Let me, uh, let's try this. Mm. Ah, fuck it. Let me use the big attack. Why not? Yeah. Okay, 
There we go. Oh, they didn't kill the other guy. Yeah, sometimes the expected outcome that the game says it's gonna have, uh, sometimes it'll give you like, oh, this guy's gonna lose this much health when you use this mover. Yeah, it, it's not always reliable. Sometimes it doesn't always pan out the way you want it to. Uh, let's go over here. You want to get rid of those fucking weeds down there, by the way, because uh, if enemies walk near those weeds, then uh, they can kind of slowly replenish their health, and you don't want that. I, f I find weed to be a very appropriate name, you know? You, they, you, you, you pull them out, you destroy them, but they keep fucking coming back. There we go. Boom! Oh, wow, these guys are doing a number on me. Okay, I better go back into a... Uh... Let's see, let's do this little move over here that I'm using. That, uh, that makes enemies, it, it stuns them and also makes them more susceptible to damage. This. Boom. So yeah, this whole game is sort of about mixing and matching your different abilities, seeing what combinations work, and kind of strategizing how you approach each uh, sort of unique combat situation. Now let me go over here for a bit. So yeah, really, really interesting game, really fucking, uh, really, I guess, I guess I'll say unique combat system, because I mean, I... I could draw kind of, you know, similarities to other games, like, you know, comparing the, the whole stopping time combat thing to, uh, you know, VATS from, from Fallout 3, but the system itself is, uh, uh, it, it's not like anything I've seen before, you know, so it, it's, it's a really sort of unique experience, at least for me. Maybe there's other games that are very similar to this, but I haven't, uh, the, those games aren't coming to mind at the moment. Let's do this, let's knock these guys out. Oh, f oh my god, these guys. Fuck, okay. Uh, oh, you don't want to get close to them. They, they suck you in and they do some... Uh, they do a number on you. Alright, so let's weaken this motherfucker. Don't worry, I'm... I am jacked up. I am powerful. I can handle this. Oh, wow, that wasn't enough to kill him. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, see, I see... Oh, man, you don't... Oh, god, he's freak. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. Hold on. Let's go down here. Weaken him a little bit more. You can only do... You can only weaken him three times. Okay, this should do it. This should this should kill this guy. Fucking jerk. This guy is literally a jerk. So yeah, that's Transistor or the uh, the gameplay at least. Ah, right, here we go. Yeah, see, every time you level up, you gain a new ability. Uh, let me let's select that one. That's not that's not an ability I tend to use that often, but uh, I find it to be quite a. But yeah. So yeah, that's the gameplay. That's sort of how that works. Uh, I fucking like. I mean, that alone is enough of a reason to get it. But uh, I'm also rather fond of the art style too. Uh, music is excellent too. If you're gonna get this game, I highly recommend getting it in addition to the uh, to the soundtrack. Um, yeah, story's interesting too. Uh, the, the, you know, super giant games, these motherfuckers, I gotta say, they, they know what they're doing when it, when it comes to presentation. These guys can really... The, these guys know how to really... They, they know how to present something well. They know how to... Ugh, oh, God, look at this. Sir, I fucking love this. It, it just, it looks gorgeous, and I think, uh... It's not too graphically intensive either. It, it runs pretty well on the, uh... I'm pretty sure you could have, like, you know, you could have a fucking shitty laptop with, like, Intel HD graphics. With, like, an Intel HD graphics card, and you'd still probably be able to run it, okay? Look at this. Let's look down here. Yeah, these enemies sort of, uh, sort of resemble chickens. Hold on, actually, I think I'm gonna shut up for a little bit, because I think the, uh, the battle music here, the, uh... Of the... This game is a, I, I don't really know how to describe the soundtrack of this game. It's like a weird combination, you know, it's electronic with some jazz elements thrown in, and they even managed to work a fucking accordion in there. And I'm not a huge fan of the accordion as an instrument, but I fucking love, uh... <laughs> I, I think you'll see, uh, the, the, I, I fucking, one of my favorite songs is kind of like here. And they managed to fucking work an accordion into it, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up while I, I do this battle and you can kind of listen. <laughs>
So yeah. Hardly the, I wouldn't say it's the best song in the game, but I just, it, it just wanted to show, to show off the soundtrack there for a second. I fuck, again, they fucking worked an accordion in there, but they made it sound awesome. So anyways, this, this is, uh, I guess I was gonna, I don't know if I should talk about the story. I guess I'll leave that sort of up to you to sort of figure out. But uh, that's Transistor. Uh, I fucking love it, and it's really, you know, I can't say it's like anything I've played before or comparable to anything I've played before. It's just, like I said, it oozes personality and charm, and it's just... Such a delightful little game, so please do check it out if you get the chance. Uh, not sure if there's much more I can add, so... Anyways, uh, that was it. If you, uh, I don't know if you want to listen to me talk about games anymore, but uh, if you enjoyed listening to me uh, ramble like a scatterbrained fuckhead uh, for about however long this was, then, uh, hey, I might do this more often. It might show off more games that interest me. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. If, if anybody even wants to fucking comment, I have no idea if anybody even wants to... If you made it this far, I'm fucking amazed.